hello and welcome to this video in this video we are going to do a question from paper 3 variant 32 october november 2018 question 2 section a so let's start the question it says that according to is1 presentation of financial statements notes to the accounts should be included within the financial statement a bit of the question asks us to state three advantages to the shareholders of including the notes to the accounts within the financial statement. So, the three benefits which the shareholder get when we include the notes to the accounts are they provide additional information at the end of the financial statement. Like, if there is a major purchase of asset, it will provide the additional information that how this asset have been purchased what were the sources of finance and how the capital structure have changed. They provide further explanation of specific item in the financial statement. For example, there have been a huge loss to the company and this loss can be explained by adding a note saying that the loss may be due to the loss of production capacity which have been caused due to a natural calamity or due to a strike. Further, they explain the accounting methods and policies used to prepare the accounts like the methods of depreciation, whether there have been consistency in the methods or if there have been any change in the method of depreciation, why there was a change in the method of depreciation, all this can be explained as a form of note to the financial statement. Lastly, they ensure transparency of the financial statement figures. You see when the business makes the financial account and it, uh, it has to add a note in which it discloses the date when the financial statement were authorized to be issued and who, was, who gave the authorization. So, if anyone, ha uh, and it also states that if anyone have the power to amend the financial statement after the authorization has been given. So, when all this is disclosed, it will ensure the transparency of the financial statement. Next, additional information is provided stating that the following information have been extracted from the property plant and equipment note and information, various informations are provided here about the cost, the depreciation and the net book value and even the method of depreciation and the rate of depreciation is also stated. In debit, we are asked to calculate the depreciation charges for the year ended 30th September 2017. First, we have to start with building. Here, if we see, in the question it is given land and building, but land is usually appreciated and building is depreciated because of uh, repairs and maintenance. So, for building, the cost given here is 20,000 and it is stated here that 40,000 belongs to land. So, we are going to take 200,000 minus 40,000 will get 160,000 dollars as the cost for buildings. Then, the rate of depreciation is 5 percent and the method of depreciation is straight line method. So, we are going to take 160,000 times 5 percent. We get the depreciation for building as 8,000 dollars. Then, next we have fixtures and fittings. So, for fixtures and fittings, again, the rate of depreciation is 15 percent and the method of depreciation is same, that is straight line method. So, we will take this cost, multiply it with 15 percent, we get the depreciation for fixtures and fittings as 14,250 dollars. There is further information which is given here, which states that on 1st of January 2017, new fixtures and fittings were acquired at cost of 20,000 dollars. So, from 1st of Jan to 30th September 2017, the number of months are 9. So, we are going to take this cost which is 20,000 times 15 percent times 9 by 12. We get the value as 2,250 dollars. So, for the total depreciation of fixtures and fittings, we take 14,250 plus 2,250, we get the value as 16,500 dollars. Then lastly, it is uh, motor vehicles. So, motor vehicles, the rate is 20 percent, but here the method of depreciation is reducing balance method. So, for reducing balance method, we take the net book value. So, here the net book value which is given is 30,000 dollars. 
further information which is given is on 1st of july 2017 a motor vehicle which had cost 10000 was sold for 7000 so for this 30000 we take that is the netbook value 20 times 20 percent which is the rate given and from 1st of october till 1st of july the number of months are 9 divided by 12 we get the value of depreciation as $4,500. Then after disposal of motor vehicles, which was uh, here, which is given here is that after disposal, we are going to take the value which is 30,000. From this, we are going to subtract the cash value which we got when we sold the uh, motor vehicle and the loss on disposal. So once we do that, because here it is given on cost and we have to calculate the net book value. So we take the uh, net book value by doing this calculation that is 30,000 minus 7,000 minus 1,000 we get 22,000 dollars and then we are going to find the value of depreciation for 3 months that is from July 1st to 30th September 3 by 12 22,000 times 20 percent times 3 by 12 we get 1,100 dollars. So, the total depreciation for motor vehicle will be $4,500 plus $1,100 which will be equal to $5,600. In the C bit of the question, we are asked to prepare the property plant and equipment note to the statement of financial position at 30th September 2017. So, we are going to make this note in the same format which is given in the question that is we are going to take these columns that is land and building, fixtures and fittings, motor vehicles and total and firstly we will calculate the cost then depreciation then the net book value. So I have stated it here first the cost the balance at 1st October 2016 which is given in the question here we are going to take it as it is that is $200,000 for land and building. $95,000 for fixtures and fittings, $43,000 for motor vehicle and then the total. Then the next information which is given is that on 1st of January 2017 we purchased fixtures and fittings. So we are going to write this purchases $20,000 in the fixtures and the fitting and $20,000 in the total. Then there is a disposal of motor vehicle. So, we are going to subtract 10,000 from motor vehicle and 10,000 from total value. So, then we will get the total that is the balance at 30th September 2017 which is 2000 for building, land and building and then at cost uh, for fixtures and fittings the value or the balance at 30th September 2017 is $115,000 for motor vehicle it is 33 thousand dollars and then the total then we'll take the depreciation first we will write the depreciation which is given in the question that is the balance at 1st october 2016 which is given here 70,000 28,000 13,000 and total we did that here then disposal there have been a disposal of motor vehicle so the this motor vehicle will not be available for depreciation so we are going to subtract 2000 from here and 2000 from the total then next the charges for the year which we have calculated in bit B we are going to write that here that is 8000 for land and building 16500 for fittings and for fixtures and $5600 for motor vehicle. After doing that we are going to total it up and write the balance at 30th September 2017 that is 70000 plus 8000 78000 for land and building 28000 plus 16,500, 44,500 for fixtures and fitting, 13,000 minus 2,000 plus 5,600, 16,600 for motor vehicles and then the total. Lastly, we are going to state the net book value. Net book value for 2016 is given here and we are going to write it as it is and for 2017, we are going to take the cost that is 200,000 minus the depreciation 78,000 we get 122,000 dollars for land and building for fixtures and fittings again the same 115,000 dollars 
minus $44,500 that is $70,500. For motor vehicle $33,000 minus $16,600 we get $16,400 and the total. So, this will be the note for the financial statement. In the last part of the question we are given additional information which states that director now wish to purchase more land and the value of this land is $100,000 and for this they need to raise the finance and they have three options. The first option is 6% preference share of $1 each or they can issue ordinary shares of $1 each or debentures of 5% and which is redeemable in 2024. In the debit, it is, uh, they have asked us to advise the directors which will be the most suitable option of finance. So, if you see here, it, the first option which we have is 6 percent preference share. That means a dividend of 6 percent that is 6 times 100,000 divided by 100 that, uh, which will be 6000 dollars which we have to pay as dividends and if this 6000 dividend uh, is not paid then it will be treated as current liability. The next option which we have is issuing ordinary shares. For ordinary shares we may pay the dividend or we may not pay the dividend but ordinary shareholders will have the voting rights in decision making. Hence the existing ordinary shareholders may lose the control over decision making. Then the last option which we have is that is we have 5 percent debentures that means we have to pay 5 percent interest on 100,000 dollars which will be equal to one uh, 5,000 dollars. And if we see the difference between these two that is the preference share and the debentures we have a difference of 1,000 dollars that is for preference share we have to pay a dividend of 6,000 and for debentures we have to pay an interest of 5,000 dollars. So, this uh, debentures will cost us 1,000 less. Furthermore, when we pay the interest on debentures, we can reduce it from the profit before tax because interests have tax rebate. So, it will be more profitable for the business and it will be less costing to the business if they issue the debenture. But both preference share and debentures will, will increase the gearing of the company that is risk of the company will be increased. However, the owner may not lose the control, the ordinary shareholders may not lose the control over the company. So, based on all this we can say that issuing debentures will be the best option for raising the finance. So, the directors should go for issuing of debentures and with this we end the answer. Lastly, I have stated few websites from where you can download the past papers. So, Keep practicing and have a great life.